Selena and Luma, like all the all the characters that have like a secondary appendage to them, it's so hard to keep track, and especially in this matchup that Kairos, by the end, you could tell that he was figuring out how to keep mm -hmm. him separate. Unfortunately, that wasn't fast enough, or at least uh, strong enough to just get. Um, well, yeah, no, it, it did work in the end, but uh, Beckham was slowly creeping by and almost brought it back, and that's that's gotta be super scary. Now, Kairos is gonna be moving on into grand finals. Mm -hmm. Winner side for a little bit, yeah. Still has an extra opportunity. Whereas on the loser side of bracket, uh -huh. we've got uh, Monty. Uh, Monty sure is the winner of Spanky and yeah. Vladen. Surely moving up. Uh, let, let me take a look. Let me refresh real quick. But before, uh, while I do that, please make sure to stay, stay with us. I know it's a little bit, uh, a little bit late for a lot of you people, of yeah. course. BST time is the best time because we still get That's to what enjoy. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, I've been telling. I've been saying people are not ready for this, but uh, of course we appreciate that you are tuning in to the first MSM Zero. Hope you guys are just as excited as we are. We are actively reading you guys in chat, so make sure to uh, root for your favorite contenders. We just have a couple matches in, just a couple more, Ooh, and, and we have to game five. Spanky versus Spanky uh, and Vladin. Vladin? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that was fun. Spanky uh, with a Pokemon trainer, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. He was doing phenomenally with um, with his roster, despite Beat the fact... Nexus. Beat Nexus, of course, another thing. It wasn't pretty, but he did it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm a Falco main myself, so I suffer whenever a, a Falco loses. But uh, we got our next match. We got Vladin and Monty. You must be strong then, right? I'm sorry? You must be strong, right? Strong? Falco players always lose losing. <laughs> well, we... Yeah. Yeah, we lose a lot. <laughs> Especially, I, I still, I'm still suffering about that uh, tilde uh, gluto thing that happened mm, oh, a couple of days ago. Yeah. I'm still in pain. I'm still in Spain without the S. But we prevail. We keep flying high. We got our next match. We got Monty versus Vladin. Should be fun. I, I gotta tell you, Bob. Well, I'm a sucker for Lucina. Yeah, no. Yeah, I mean, I'm a sucker for Vladin. I love this guy. And then <laughs> yeah, Monty's like, that's cool. Oof. If that can, I think that's it. If that that would have been it. That. Yeah, <laughs> but still, great dolphin slash just to quickly come back to the to the legend, and understandably so. That's a very panicky option, especially when you're fighting against number two in Sokia. Number two and seated number one. That's true. Here. Oh, uh, able to do so well with it, and actually good roll around the projectiles, able to use that nair. It's a really good stuff on there. Vladen playing on this there. I love the usage of the dancing blade, but got to get that dolphin slash. Got to get punished out there, not to be able to land. An excellent parry on Monty's end, getting the back throw, and now just kind of pressuring with all of this stuff. And this is the thing: if Vladen isn't, if Vladen isn't perfect on the spacing, the punish that Monty can dish out is heavy. Oh yeah, definitely. That's going to be extremely. Difficult for uh, nice. a seen a player like match. that, a character that relies a lot on honest recoveries. There, I said it. <laughs> uh, it's gonna struggle against Mr. Game Watch, which is so easily able to oh, just no. go out. It doesn't matter how oh, low it, you have it, to yeah. go, the stock is going to disappear time and again, especially with those backers, especially with the pressure that he can put out with the Nairs as well, just trying to get. Vladi and, and his Lucina out there is going to be incredibly difficult. And just as you mentioned, if the oh. spacing is not right, Vladi is going to keep struggling. Uh, and also, like you have to be right every single time. And the problem is that even if your spacing is right, you're not going to be rewarded 100% of the time. Your reward is do not get hit. Also, it's it's gaming block. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. But able to finally get that kill with the dancing blade, finally able to secure it out there. But the problem is also what I've noticed from Monty that's definitely been a big change of pace. He's now unafraid to go off stage for an edge. Oh card. yeah, for sure. He's starting to realize like, hey, uh, this it's move is it's very real stupid. stupid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's, he's just like. This move's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and the pressure that Vladin is putting out on the ledge on the left side of Pokemon Stadium 2 uh, is definitely paying off, but that gets quickly turned around, especially once no that Monty recovery is uh, putting extra pressure, making it extra difficult for that Lucina player to just try to get his footing. Oh. Great air dodge, barely dodging that forward air. I thought that bomb that, that would be real That's a hit, to be honest, but great job and sentience from uh, the Lucina player who's still kicking on the last strings, really. Last breath for this Vladin uh, Lucina. Yeah, that's Vladin. Doesn't matter how hard you're beating him. He's going down kicking and screaming. He's going to keep sure. spacing. He's going to keep trying. And Monty trying to figure something out there. Ooh. But the trade works in the favor with that. No, 
remember when Game Watch players were like, oh my god, the fair sucks, oh no, it sucks, oh, it's not the same thing. And then all of a sudden it's like... That didn't last too long, right? <laughs> 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 they quickly figured out that it's such a great move. Mm -hmm. A lot of pressure. So, uh... And this is a run back too, I do believe, right? Am I right? Uh, yes, I think I am. Ah, uh, you could be. In a previous I'm tournament, sure. I swear. Oh, previous tournament? Yeah. Yeah, most likely, yeah. By the way, uh, I, I, I have to do it. Dixie, thank you for being here. Gracias a todos los que están aquí. Un placer. Hope you guys are enjoying MSM Zero. We are just closing out. We have, uh, we're still sitting in loser semifinals. It's Monty versus Velotti. It's going to be still Delucina versus that Mr. Game and Watch. Hope. And the winner of this will play against Pekka. Again, and yep. Losers, and losers final, so for the cushion noting that one, at one, but now hopping onto Battlefield. I really like this. You really want to be able to abuse the platforms, especially the delayed up air that the right. Lucina players love using on there. And as well, just gives you more movement, more mix-ups yes. to work with. But the problem is, is that it also gives more extensions to Monty. <laughs> like, look at that. The air dodge burned, and you're still able to get hit by the second back air and that air catching out there. Look at all this confirmed damage, even chasing down with the yeah. down air. I mean, to be fair, the, the most of the pressure that Gaming Watch can put out here is mostly off stage, right? And just like that, one stock is gone. The platform confirmed configuration yeah that's cute you get a lot of mobility but in the end where you're getting punished the most is off stage so that's exactly where Vladim needs to mix it up a little bit more maybe change it to be honest it's really hard to do it at uh, Mr. Game & Watch so I don't blame him for struggling off stage but still looking to find good opportunities within the stage is absolutely crucial you don't want to get juggled for too long because Monty can run a mile with those mm -hmm. I mean, we're saying that like it's easy too. We're like, yeah. just don't get juggled, yeah. and then he just keeps hitting you <laughs> over and over. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for thank you so much, uh, Muffin. Uh, actually, Monty sent Vlad into losers. Okay, that that's what I meant by like the, the that's why they played there. But so this is on there. But Monty, he he he's giving me reminders like I sent you to losers, and now I'm gonna make you loot and <laughs> exit the tournament at this point. But. We have to see what Vladin is capable of. He needs to secure this stock fast, but it's been so difficult. Monty is able to just find so many opportunities, and I love that save. I love just joining for the Eptil, not getting too aggressive with that with the sliding Eptil on Vladin's end to try to get something down, but uh, that's stalling for Monty to throw off the timing. So hard to deal with, especially as Lucina, where she either has to commit or really go for the hardest of reads. Right now, Monty taking advantage of the uh, amount of rage that he's building. Also, of course, the stomping power that uh, Mr. Game Watch possesses. This is going to be a field through Juggle Down. Let's hope that's not the case. Vladin manages to oh, get no. back down in the ground, but not taking the stock just yet. And that could only mean a couple of things unless yeah, he gets the right, oh, the right punish. Definitely mandatory uh, in order to keep the freshness of the last stock in this second game. He used to be doing a really good job on here, but catching the jump yes. once again with that Nair, able to combo it further, and now he's kind of struggling to land. Great spot dodge, but that's the thing. When Monty gets a punish, it's like 30%. When Vladin gets a punish, it's just one straight hit, yeah. and that's it. You can't catch on anything else. It's just kind of the power on there, and now Monty. I love the mix. I'm just pressing with fair now. Because, because you know Vladin is terrified yeah. of that back air, and look at that, <laughs> dude. Nobody does that. Who parries a dolphin slash? And not be the frame in which that comes out is just un unpredictable. Oh! And just the way that he uses it, and and Monty being ready for it, it's absolutely scary. The stock is gone, but the pressure keeps on piling on. The Mr. Gaming Watch keeps on adding a lot of pain and of course with the master the keyblade is going to allow Monty to just keep on that pressure yeah. and despite Baladin's best attempts that game number two is still gonna go for the green game, game watch is well. so anti-meta because it is. people love jumping and game watch is like that's really funny yes I am no <laughs> <laughs> I, I dude it's it's really hard especially I think you mentioned something quite important the fact that uh, Vladin is only getting one, two hits yeah, per string. We also need to keep in mind that, that Gaming Watch does have that uh, panic button, the up that is basically a combo breaker. So that makes it even harder. That's an extra layer of uh, mind games that Vladin needs to play. And it's going to be really tough. I got to say, I love this song. It brings me back to my, to my younger days. The simpler times. Yes, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> but we're going to get back onto this stage. Uh, we're we'll to see how it works out, thankfully. Able to get out with that quick punish, but Monty has just been so on point. I mean, got upset early, 
and it has been on a tear for losers, beating out everybody. So, about to see it works out there. Vlad is showing signs of nice. life. I love that little mix up on there. Tried to go for the hard read, but that's the problem. Now, you gave up that stage control, and you've been stuck in this position before Monty. Now, just pressuring on there with those delayed arrows, the up airs, the good stuff. And now, thankfully, the down air could have worked out for Vlad. And if, this is like the first time I've seen him with a percent lead. Yeah, and you gotta give it to Vlad because technically, all of the, the, the whole lead that he has, it's all about uh, neutral. Like, he was just being very patient, poking here and there, and as soon as he committed to that smash attack, that's where that lead got lost. That string, that pressure got absolutely destroyed. Ooh, okay. Great job from Vladin taking that first lead in the set. This is the, fir this is the first time he's had a lead. Mm -hmm. So this is really crucial for Vladin to hold on to. That's kind of the strength, strong parts about it. And also, Game Watch being forced to approach way, way weaker. And let me tell you right now, and especially against Lucina, who just do the retreating arrows as well. But Monty, there's a will, there's a way, able to get it back out there. And the down there out of shit. It looks so weird. Like, the only character I'm used to seeing that from is, is from uh, Melodina. And I'm going to do the down there out of shield because sometimes the air out of shield doesn't work out there. But Vladin making it work out there. And now just kind of, yeah, I love this. Just searching back for that center stage. Yeah, Mark likes it too. The out of shield down air. Like, it, it's a good move overall, especially with the sorties. Uh, and, and of course, if you have that, uh, that, uh, uh, consistent damage throughout the blade, it's it's definitely a good spacing option, and I think it's paying off just fine for Veladi. He has to be very Ooh. careful, still holding on onto that first uh. stop, but that gets quickly taken over by Monty, despite the fact that he's still getting a bit of a lead. Just oh. great decision from Veladi, just breaking that combo. After all, he does it too, right? Why not try it yourself? Get something out of those great reads that Veladi is currently putting out. And this time. We'll get the combo out there, getting a lot of damage out. So really good stuff. Here's the this is the problem though. If Ladin can't keep up the same thing where they're able to kind of just space it back and really yeah. do a good job, Monty's gonna have a field here. Look at this, the percent just got evened up this <laughs> this fast, and now Monty's gonna be sort of in the lead right now, kind of in there. A great aerial out of that shield. Ladin doing an amazing nice. job and that amazing read with an ult to punish it out there, holding on to that lead for dear life, Monty. Got all those oh, options no. and oh, <laughs> there you go. Gets the bury into the heavens, and things are even just like that. Not uh, the same case for the scoreboard. And Vladin should have maybe tried oh, a little no. bit more grounded play, maybe something that allows him to just fade back as he has from the very beginning. It's been working right now. Percentages have uh, are, are very even. You can tell that he's being very cautious of uh, cautious of when he goes in and when he does, he's getting a lot out of it. And let's just hope that he keeps it up if he wants to stay in this tournament. He's staying in the lead so far, and yep. it's really good stuff on Vladin's end. But one there, able to get a little bit of the strength out there. Monty trying to push him out of this disadvantage state, trying to get in there. But I love that Vladin is jumping way less, and if it's yes. aerial, it's either a retreating one or a perfectly spaced one. Don't, don't get caught into that, that the cyclone of damage, but oh, great catch on Monty's and the bomb being thrown out oh, there. No. Oh no, Th that might be it. Oh. That was the worst way for that to possibly go Oof. down. That is heartbreaking because Vladin clearly <laughs> felt like uh, he knew, he understood what needed to be done. Maybe a little bit too late. Uh, I, I don't want to put any uh, words in his mouth or, or play style, but he did phenomenally. By the end, he was just catching up on those minor details. You know, the Monty's decisions were slowly creeping up to a way in which Vladin could start punishing them. And that was slowly putting him on edge. Unfortunately for him, he dealt with the pressure that Mr. Game & Watch is able to dish out from a very safe spot. Man, we got a goofy top three. We have we a Young Link, a Min Min, and a Game & Watch. I mean, if you squint hard enough, we look like a coin box if you really think about it. Well, the only DLC character that we got is Min Min, so it's not like... Nature is healing, right? 